10 floor. Bronx to Division 7K. Division 7. Division 7. Your duration is 2 5, 25 minutes, say. When you get a chance, I'm reporting to. When you get a chance, I'm reporting to, okay? Time one two three six is set to four three two. We have three handline stretch. We have two left power riders in operation. Uh, we main, main body of fire has been darkened down. Trucks are still open it up. Uh, not open it up. Our uh, exterior operation. Uh, fire main south, okay? Ten four division seven. Timing your report. One two three eight hours. Your duration two eight twenty eight minutes, okay? Got the second alarm fire in the Bronx, 179th Street. Uh, 190 command. Command. Yeah, the tariff is low above or just below where 50 is operating. That is a significant bow in it. It's going in towards the building. What's that? The roof or the parapet? Just the parapet. 10 4. Just got here. I don't know any of the particulars. I know that they had heavy fire. Uh, it's gonna be smoky, as you can see. Um, Command engine seven two. It's a second alarm right now. Um, they can still have pockets of fire. We're gonna check it out. Yeah. Five eight the bucket. Three hand lines stretched and operating and two tower ladders operating and they're doing exterior operations right now. There's the tower ladder in the center of your screen. It's a warehouse. It's on Monterey Avenue and 179th Street in the Bronx. Probably not going to see any flames, but a lot of smoke. Very close to a power plant or something over there. Command engine 
So what we got here uh, on top of this roof, um, they have some pockets of fire showing, but not very much. Um, they still have three land, uh, hand lines in operation and uh, one tower ladder right now. 
Uh, 58 truck is getting water. This should be spraying soon. The roof seems the roof seems largely intact. Uh, no show or no sign of collapse. Uh, no fire popping through yet. Can you repeat that? They're on a stack of plywood about 16 feet from that hole uh, towards the one side. Looks like they were doing work on the so roof. In front of them. That far, but it's completely left five eight operate and the uh, extended closure one. So I'll do a few minutes here. They have a electrical plant back there, which they're monitoring. Uh, there's no holes visible, but there's like a sag in the center there. Uh, in layman's opinion, it looks like they were doing some work on the roof there. There's a lot of plywood and a lot of chemicals and uh little sacks of either cement or bags of uh sand i don't know what they are but uh i don't know if it has anything to do with the fire it may but i'm not sure uh they're setting up a multiversal down in the center of your screen right down there very hard to see but that's the command post. Uh, looks like they got one hole towards the back. Right now, it's still that I know of a second alarm. So they got tower ladder 33 on the other side. Uh, they lowered it, they might be repositioning it. Or they might have dropped the bucket back down to the ground level where it was before. Uh, tower ladder 5.8 is spraying. They got one line there. The second line is in the center of your screen here. It looks like they stopped that for a while. right there and then they had one on the other side but it looks like they're setting up the multiversal yeah they got a huge hole where the tower spraying right in the center of your screen a lot of white smoke which is always good for fires meaning that they're getting a handle on it. It's a uh Electrical, uh, let's see, it has janitorial supplies, it's a hardware, tools, construction, lumber, cabinet, tile, paints, electrics, landlord, depot, and wholesale maintenance supplies. So there's a lot of chemicals and stuff in there.
Okay, 33 is down there. They're shooting water in through the uh, main garage entrance. There's Hopper. My friend Hopper. Long time. All right. Uh, so I wanted you guys to get a bird's eye view. Uh, I'm gonna go down and do a little bit more of the operations down there. We're still setting up this line down there. And there's the multiversal. It's still dry, they get any water. Should go into operation very shortly. Command. There is a load on the roof between the two holes that the five eight was operating in. There's a pallet of tar, roofing tar, the whole pallet. It's gonna add a different amount of weight there. If anything comes through that hole, it's gonna be that. Ten four, what's the total number of soldiers on the roof? I got it seven. Ten four. Four five the chauffeur? Don't water. Hey, here it comes. Alright, there comes Darker gray smoke pushing in the back.
Yeah, he's talking about those cylinders right there in the center of your screen. If they fall inside the building, uh, they're going to have to remove everybody. There's the fire. There's fire popping out. If those cylinders fall inside the building, they're going to have to remove all the members because they can blow up. Yo, are you hitting anything down there? There's heavy fire there's pushing through the hole back there. there. You can't see it with the smoke, but there's all fire. Right, a lot of three, three to command. Command. See if we got a second hole uh, open on the roof. There's I the think fire. Better off moving uh, the second stream up here to the roof, but I really hit anything through the door. Thank you. Two seven. Move your two set to the command. Four five is sharp. Did you increase the pressure again, Greg? That's correct. You want more? So they're gonna they're gonna bring up the bucket 33 down from the uh, garage entrance. They're gonna push it up, move it over to the side, and start hitting the. Uh, Pocket of fire back here is becoming very heavy. There it is. 919, It's burning pretty good inside in the back. So they're gonna try to push it into that corner, but they gotta be careful with the uh, electric power plant back there. They can't spray anything on that. That would not be good. Or at least there would be a problem. I don't know what what the interaction would be, but there's the fire. Diamond 90, command. Command. Yeah, the whole 58 is operating here right now. It lit up pretty good. It's pushing pretty good. It's smoke and fire right out of those holes. Smoke and fire. That's what we're looking for. Thank you. How about the hole where 33 is going to be operating into? 2 7 10, 2 4 3. 2 4 3. At this point, I'm going to stay up here a little while longer and see how it turns out. Um, the smoke is pushing this way, so you can't really see much, but they got the other line, the uh, hand line on the ground operating again down there. All right, conditions remain the same. They got the 33 up. Uh, now spraying towards where the uh, main concentration of fire is. It still keeps showing its head, but the smoke is obscuring it. But as you can see, the smoke, uh, smoke is turning much darker. Uh, you see it flashing right there. Four six. Very 
Lower we're gonna have to drop pressure for a minute to stabilize the uh, Smoke is pushing the other way. You might, you might see some of the fire now. Looks like it's spreading pretty bad inside. So just lower the bowl a little bit. Conditions look like they're deteriorating. Command the ladder 144. Got it. 144 to vent. They just transmitted a third alarm. Two members, uh, the each bucket, we're going to start relieving those uh, members. 2-7, explosion 2 second, it's safety battalion. Safety battalion. How does that look in explosion 3 off the Con Ed one? Uh, I haven't come back there. Uh, 5-8, welcome to 5-8, you shut us down, come down. 10-4, bottom 5-8 to MCD, fuck, uh, MCD, token. Yeah, they just transmitted a third alarm. 5-8 bucket. Yeah, that's still under the top, underneath 33's line. Can you hit that to push it back to the uh, four corner? Yep. Last announcement is the third alarm, 5-3-1-0-6. The address is 551 one Still come down to 4-3. 5 by no roof Conditions remain the same. They're doing a good job at cornering it over there, uh, but they're doing the best they can. There's stuff falling in. Uh, there's a tar machine up there. It looks like it went down. Command the ladder 144. Ladder 144. 
Disregard your members going to 58 bucket. I'm going to keep you married up to out of 3-3. 3 3 Exposure 2 to Engine A2. Engine A2. If you walk back towards the street here, you got my vantage point. I'm out in the street. You can see fire on the Exposure 2-3 wall. You might have to bring the line back here to the front door. It's right along the wall. Yeah, we have, we have fire uh, pulling bottles at that window. All right, that's four. Pulling bottles. 3-3 in the bucket. Engine A2. Put that stream back and forth in between the two holes. 7 exposure 2 to command. Command. Alright, we're, we're holding off on 10 up the multiversal because E2 has the only uh, line operating on uh, the fire on exposure 2. 10-4. Are they making any progress or hitting any visible fire? Looks like it's safe to command. Uh, put the line in the window on exposure 2 to make it much of a screen now. A lot of stop, a lot of shells and uh, material. They're not getting the enough penetrated. Alright, 10-4. It might, if it keeps going this way, it might be an issue for the Con Ed and Exposure 3. Temple, they have two members over there now, uh, geared up and ready to start uh, shutting down phase. Command engine 4, sir. Yeah, uh, there's all kinds of shit what falling the? into the building. Excuse my language, but there are all kinds of stuff falling into the building through that large hole down there. There goes another piece of equipment flying in there. 73 Battalion 3. Three. We were just checking in. Uh, do you need us anywhere? Well, we're not 1084 yet. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Report the propane cylinders are right over that. There's the fire coming out the window. Commander, exposure floor roof. Sky 1 9, exposure floor roof. It's starting to push heavy underneath a draft of plywood that has three propane cylinders on top of it. That's four. They backed out the uh, line in the uh, driveway there, a heavy fire pushing throughout, and uh, they're concerned about the uh, propane tanks falling through. Bridge me fucking keep that stream low, please. 10-4, keep it on low. Bridge me to bucket. Can you hit that two side timer, please? Close the center. Command the ladder 4 4. 4 4 exit. Just advise the members going up in the bucket that we have a couple of propane cylinders on the roof at that location if they can keep the bucket up high. 10 4. You need to stream down, Joe. You're good right there. Engine 5-0 to the staging area. Engine 5 Okay, the time three, just station area matcher. Three, three to bucket, go back towards that two-side parapet in the center. You still got visible fire showing there. Just try to knock it all down. Bucket, ten four. Command to the dying one nine. Exposure four sector. Dying one nine. Dying one three is going to relieve you up there. One eye, Here comes the smoke.
Here at the third alarm fire, the air recon chief is up there in the NYPD copter. Uh, a lot of smoke blowing towards where we're at. Uh, a lot of toxic chemicals in there, so I'm staying out of the smoke as much as possible. Can you meet up with engine 5 on the exposure four side and assist them in setting up a multiversal? Chief Air Recon Chief up there. The drones around here too somewhere. It keeps popping up and out, up and around. Thank you, We're getting white smoke coming out of here, which is good. Yeah, come on over to the command post. We're gonna make our way over to the fourth side. Hold up for 50. There's the drone. I don't know if you can see it. it. Just went up. Uh, he's in there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. Back 
show you guys this smoke is blowing all over the Bronx. It's unbelievable. As far as the eye can see. Bring it to an air fish line off of 48 engine and bring it to the port of a ladder and expose your port. All right at the base and we'll get out there off the roof. I'm trying to walk over here and see if there's anything visible over here. Center your screen, there's heavy fire showing down there in the uh, second bay door. There's explosion just now. Those must be those propane tanks. I moved to the other side over here. And in case you're curious, those gentlemen over there with the tan and red helmets, those are Con Edison firefighters. Right in the center of your screen. They have their own fire department. So they're trying to get the tower out of 44 up. They had a hard time getting it in there. They're supplying it water now. I mean a line. They're getting the line to it so they can give it water. Tower ladder 44 is going up now. Command post over here.
Trying to get it cornered into one area and jumps to another area and back and forth and back and forth. Water's coming now. Tower out of 44 in the center of your screen. They're going to get water any second now. Engine 46, uh, A2 Shelfer. A2 Shelfer. Start water again to augment that. Uh, they're stretching a line in the uh, fourth exposure, I believe. I'm not very good with exposures, but they're stretching a line there so they can have more water coming in from that side. And I don't know if any of this video is blurry or not, but the smoke is auto-focusing, so I hope it's not. They got the line on the uh, other exposure operating. They got two multiversals operating, two tower ladders operating. And I don't know if they're using hand lines at this moment, but um, I'm gonna go down and do some from the ground level. So I'll be back. All right, guys, I came down to the ground level. I'm going to do a little bit of more footage here for a while, and then uh, we're going to be taking up. Uh, they got a lot of lines in operation, as I stated upstairs. Two, 
One thing, uh, we lost two out of pocket. How's that pressure? I just gave you 10 more pounds. We lost four pounds to the floor floor. We can use a little more. Alright, let me go. I'm going to take a look over to 46 seconds. Give me a minute. operating over there. There the rack at. And they got a rack spare. out of the rock today because it's really hot and humid. Chief 
the one two corner is collapsed in, and we still have physical fire. That's You have any shot at it? Can I find that message, Chief? Do you have any shot at it with the stream? Four four bucket to command. Ten four, Chief, we're hitting it. Thank you. Alright, uh, they have still heavy fire, it's heavy pockets of fire. Uh, they continue all the lines in operation, the multiversals, the tower ladders. Um, This is the scene. Hey, Margo, come to rescue three. Command squad number one. Two, seven, five, five, eight, checked out, 1035. Seven, one, thank you. All right, I'm going to be uh, making my way out of here. Uh, Breathing in too much smoke. The command post. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move down down the street and I'm gonna uh, I'm going to uh, monitor it in case it pops up from another area but I doubt it the way they got it they're surrounding and drowning it now They stretch from all the way down there, engine 82. It's a long stretch. Um, just show you a few of the uh, units on scene. Our battalion 19. Command the ladder 3 3 bucket. Ladder 3 3 bucket, How are things looking from your vantage point? Command tactical. Oh, there, there another rack. Where are the rack at? There are not. There's another one. Sorry, I'm tired. So there's that rack at. Uh, way down in distance, rescue three is taking up. Squad 61 relieved squad 41. Uh, they're just suiting up. Command the fall fall bucket. Bucket! Air recon's reporting that the front parapet wall may be falling in towards the center of the building. Could you make a better assessment? Yeah, I can see it. It's definitely bowed out. Uh, the front of the building is bowing in, so that's going to collapse inward.
Alright guys, I'm gonna close up this video. Uh, just came over to the other side. There's more units, more units on the other side. Conet has a little backhoe they brought in. I don't know what that's gonna be about. Uh, units as far as the eye can see all the way up to that large white building at the end and through all the side streets. We're gonna take up, they still have fire conditions in the building, uh, but the smoke is really overwhelming and the toxicity of it is just a little bit too much. My eyes are burning, I'm starting to cough. Uh, and uh, enough is enough for now. So, so with all that said, uh, we'll two and two and we'll see you all on the other side. Deputy Assistant Chief Boyle reports main body fire has been knocked down. They have one tower ladder in operation. They're using the drone to evaluate the power pit wall. Uh, they're working with Con Edison to shut down the gas to the building from the curb. Also, when this fire goes under control, we're going to need the Department of Buildings to respond, okay? 10 Con, Tommy at report. One five one nine hours, the duration three hours nine minutes, okay? Message received. And one five one nine, dispatcher four three two. 